Thanks for your interest in our paper. In this work, we focus on transactive few shot node classification and develop a method for constructing meta tasks without label information. The problem is we have abandoned label nodes in base classes and limited label nodes in normal classes. The target is to classify unlabeled nodes from normal classes. If we have n normal classes and each of them has k label samples, we call this task an NVK short task. Two approaches to address this problem are meta learning and graph contrastive learning. Meta learning creates a series of NVK short tasks to mimic real world few shot scenarios. Well, contrastive learning creates an embedding space that distinguishes between similar and dissimilar data points, and then using the embedding to train a classifier for few shot tasks. One observation from recent work shows that graph contrast learning can outperform meta learning methods from a large range. We found that contrast learning is successful because it doesn't require labels and can use all nodes for training, including the nodes from novel classes. However, meta learning needs labels for task construction. Thus, can only use nodes from base classes. To overcome this limitation, We've been inspired to create a meta learning methods that can also leverage all available nodes. And we achieved this by developing a novel way to construct meta tasks in an unsupervised manner. Let's walk through an example of how we can create a two way three shot meta task for a given graph. We first sample node 2 and node 5 and regard them as two ways. Then we use data augmentation along with GNN encoder to generate two embedding groups, the lookup embedding and the support embedding. Then, for each node, we take its lookup embedding to search through the support embeddings. We are looking for the closest matches, which will form our support set. To complete our metatask construction, we perform a third data augmentation. This generates a new set of embedding, the query embedding. From this set, we use the embeddings for node 2 and node 5 to build our query set. This framework allows us to design meta tasks without relying on label information, giving us the flexibility to include all nodes in the graph during the training process. Our method outperformed the existing meta learning and contrast learning baselines. This is because, unlike meta learning, we don't require labels for task construction allowing for more comprehensive use of nodes. And our method is tailored to few short scenarios, which gives us an advantage over contrastive learning method.